Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Getting ready here to do your love reading for April 2022. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. And uh, you can also join our Lovecast podcast that I will be um, sharing with you on uh, Mondays through Fridays, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Saturdays at noon Eastern Standard Time where we'll be doing topics um, and all the details will be in the Community Center here on my channel if you would like to join in. All right, let's see. It's going to be a live stream, so it will run for a good 20, 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours, so do check that out. All right. All right, let's get started, Virgo. How are you guys doing? So I'm going to resume uploading your regular love readings. As I know, the last time I did the last one, it was too complicated for everyone to scrub backwards and find the reading. So that was kind of a little bit of a beta test. <laughs> All right, so let's get started here. Virgo, what are the love messages for you guys? And uh, this is pre-recorded, so the chat is live, but I am not technically live, okay? All right, let's see. What are the messages for Virgo? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus? Okay. Healing heart. I'm just feeling like... Something's going on here with you, Virgo. Engagement ring. Okay. And the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Sorry about that. My, um, hold on, my screensaver keeps going off. Let me fix that because that actually is interrupting my light. Okay. So you've got Healing Heart. So there's a healing from a breakup at this time. Okay. Or someone is healing from a breakup, from a heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship, or an addiction. You also have engagement ring, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. And you have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. Now, these are very contradicting messages. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Virgo, point blank, period. You've got, I mean, you're definitely healing from something. A relationship has ended. Maybe you were engaged to this person and it's over. Or there was talk about engagement. Or you received a ring and somebody canceled out that um, follow through aspect with you. This might have been something for others that you were hoping to have with someone <clears throat> to get to this point with somebody in your life. And something's over here. It looks like you're not giving another person second chances. Even if, which they could actually come in and say now they want to commit and now they want to they want to get engaged, follow through with a union. Like you you be theirs forever. Okay, it feels to me like you're just no, you're done with it. You're not going back. You're you're just the relationship's over. No more chances. You're healing. It might have been a very toxic relationship, or um, there was a um, might have been addiction involved in this. Let's take a look and see what your cards have to say. Okay, um, I will say this though. Let me just say this. There is somebody coming in here that's going to propose after a breakup or after you guys have separated. If you've ended something and just walked away and just told yourself you're not going back, somebody's going to show up here with um, an offer for commitment <clears throat> tell you that they want you back. Okay. Doesn't look like you're gonna take anybody back though. Looks like it's done. For some reason. Something something's done. You've been healing your heart. You've been starting over. 
You've been growing and transforming. All right, let me see. Okay. Well, there you are. Queen, Queen of Pentacles. You're showing up in your own energy. Settled, stable, sorting yourself out. You and your little doggy. What kind of doggy is that? <laughs> Benji. They're telling me Benji or Benjamin. So it feels to me like, especially with all this green around you, that's like very fresh and clean. Even her, she's got roses. Looks like a bouquet of roses. It almost looks like green roses. Very earthen. She has the shape and the wheat. It's like you're, you're preparing for going on your own, finishing out a season and transferring or transitioning into a new season in your life. Okay. This feels like very much Taurus energy as well with all the green and the emeralds. And Taurus is always, maybe you have Venus, and like Taurus and Venus for some of you, embracing the um, new beginnings in yourself. Fertility, creating new, okay? So I, I definitely feel like you're in a good place or you're, you're healing from something. Yeah, you are now committing to love at this time or with anyone you're some of you have ghosted someone or you you've just you don't know right now you have a lot of options perhaps and you're looking at your options at this time in your life trying to decide you know what path do you want to go you're definitely going through this inner awareness kind of thing right now I do feel like somebody's going to come in and propose or try to reestablish themselves back into your life or in this relationship. But as of right now, in the month of April, if, even if they do, it's going to, you know, I, I sense that you'll be in this position once you get this, you know, this message, this person coming in. I feel like you're going to be very unsure, you know. I feel like there might be a concern um, about this person's commitment issues and for them to be coming in and doing this. Yeah, you're kind of like, I don't really know. In some ways, uh, you don't have your head in the clouds. Your, your feet are firmly planted on the ground here. Okay. I don't know why spirit led me to start doing you here, but... Right when I said that, we have the King of Swords. So you could be connecting with someone who's an air energy. Okay. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this definitely feels like a connection here. That could have been your person. They could have air in their sign somewhere, or it's just an energy of... Um, they come in that way where... Um, very intentional. I feel like this person coming in with this ring or this offer of partnership or commitment <coughs> has been thinking about this. They've been strategizing. They've been really like they're intentional. They've been taking some time to think about coming your way. But you know, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like there may have been a lot of instability in this connection here between the two of you and I, f I definitely feel like neither one of you were able to commit to each other maybe one wasn't and then therefore the other wasn't able to and vice or, or you know vice versa but we're going to take a look at these the you know the, the king of swords and for some of you um you are the king of swords very intentional with your um moving on here and you could be with um you know this could be a, a queen of pentacles coming in for you as well where it's an energy this person showing up very stable and grounded so let's take a look here and that's just a small percent of you hmm see this feels like a roller coaster to me you know but it is definitely weighing some options so I get a sense Virgo that you're gonna be 
um, maybe you have another option as well. You know, either an air sign or an earth sign or just another person coming in or you're speaking with right now that you're not, you may not be going in deep with this person yet because you're still healing from a past relationship. And then, you know, there's, there's definitely an energy of someone that's in April. There's an offer of commitment or engagement, some type of partnership. I can tell you that. And I'm seeing here, this two of pentacles is like, wow, <laughs> I get to weigh my options. Even if, if I want to allow this person to come back in, um, because this engagement ring is kind of like someone showing up with an actual, uh, like showing you, giving you something, a tangible proof or evidence that this is something that they want. This is, you know, it's like it's almost like a promise here this is what i want to do here's my promise here's the here's the proof here's what i want to share with you hmm yeah i'm just i'm really like for some of you i'm going to tell you this right now you've got two choices and these choices could be whether to accept this offer from this person um, because I kind of feel like that engagement ring is a, is a bloody stump symbol <laughs> in some way. You know, obviously we don't want someone showing up with bloody stumps, but that kind of feels like that energy to me. So the two options, the two choices you're going to have in April is whether to take this back or not. Or you're going to have two people, this past person to choose or somebody new coming or someone you're someone who could be in your periphery or is in your periphery and trying to get into your world in April. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, look, I saw the Knight of Pentacles. Why is it doing this? Hold on, you guys. I said it for like, I guess it can only be 30 minutes. So I was seeing this to a pentacle or Knight of Pentacles when that engagement ring showed up. This is coming in with that offer. Tangible. See how he's holding that pentacle? Showing, giving. Wow. All right. Let me take a look at somebody else here. Who is this person? What's coming in with what what are they coming in with? Okay, now we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so it could be a fire sign as well. For some of you, this person showing up, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see. Two of Swords. Wow, the Knight of Cups. That's what I'm saying. This person's had like a change of heart. They're seeing things differently. And the Devil. Oh, this person's coming in basically with compromise and they're ready to compromise they're making this decision here to come in and make this offer to you we have pisces energy we have capricorn <clears throat> virgo taurus gemini aquarius libra this person i feel they're in this totally new headspace at this time totally let's take a look and see what's going on or why Okay, that devil energy, this person can't let you go. They just refuse. They're obsessed with you. And this feels like um, the, the, the person you're healing this heartbreak from. Okay, but let's take a look and see. Why this obsession? Why are they so obsessed with Virgo? Like, it's really like on your mind. I mean, on their mind, constantly, they think about you. Let me see. They can't let you go. They can't stop. It's like an addiction here. And that might have that might have had a, played a role in the relationship where this person, it seemed like they had a hard time letting you go, but yet they couldn't maybe commit or something was going on. It felt like, I'm just feeling like very toxic energy. But it also feels like this person... In a time period of being apart, they've had transformation. They've had growth. 
All right, let's see. Why are they so stuck on you still? I mean, we keep getting these same readings. You bring them peace. You're their peace of mind. You bring them peace. The Four of Swords. They find their peace and solace within you. You give them a sense of comfort and security and safety. That's how they feel about you. I don't think that you felt that way about this person um, because either, you know, it's crazy. It's like, why would somebody end a relationship or why did you guys split up if this person felt like you brought a sense of peace and because they were very insecure and having you made them feel more secure without them understanding how to be secure within themselves. Okay. Also, there might have been somebody else in the picture that you would know about where they have blocked that person now. That was a bad decision. They may have gone to somebody else um, and that person was not for them. So, I mean, maybe they cheated or they were hiding something or they were talking to somebody else. Um, they might have been stuck in some kind of like maybe an alcohol or drug addiction and got themselves into some trouble with somebody else and screwed up. And now they're getting themselves clean and sober or just sobering up the mind, whatever they've been, you know, attached to, which is what the Four of Swords is. This is healing from that shadow work, healing from that devil energy. Okay. This is rest, retreat, renewal, solitude, recovery. Okay. So I feel like you might have had somebody that you perhaps wanted, or there was a possibility of commitment or partnership of some sort, or again, maybe even engagement, but something didn't work out in the past. It just didn't go the way maybe you had hoped. Something must have happened, I feel definitely here some of the things that I said I mean this hangman energy is very much like this is like Jesus on the cross you know um, this is like brainwashing look at the glow around his head you know this person like with that card it's it's like you know okay yeah this is the situation I'm in but now you know I got myself into this situation and Virgo left Virgo was like nope not doing it anymore um, it's done I'm gonna heal transform I'm not going back I'm done you know let this person figure out what they need to figure out for themselves but I can't do it for them and it kind of feels like this person has like this wow I got myself into this I got to get myself out of this kind of thing now you know this is like um, just having a different seeing things differently now gaining some wisdom What's going on here with this, the hangman? What was the deal with this hangman? Huh, look, two of cups. What are they waking up to and realizing? That, you know, you and they are a match. You mirror one another. It was a good match between the two of you. And they put themselves in a position to lose you. And lose you they did. And now you're off seeking your own transformation and healing in your life, which is wonderful. But this person, as you're doing this, and if they went with somebody else or they were connecting with another person or thinking things were grass is going to be greener on the other side, they're actually very lonely. Show me this. Now they're, I'm also picking up there was um, a heavy attachment to a mother figure who had uh, a heavy influence on them. Or a father somebody had as a parental figure all right show me this Queen of Wands here okay ten of cups why okay death my goodness <clears throat> so if it's a parental figure there might have been an influence like something that this might just be for a small few of you but I'm just getting if they were to get involved with you um, the family wouldn't approve and now I'm seeing this person has with the death card and the ten of cups like they're they're I guess it's in a way like cutting off the family connection right 
um, very heavily, heavy, heavy family influence. And also, if they were married to another person or in a relationship with that other person, that other person has cut it off. And in, in that, in doing that, they've also come to terms with what they've lost, which is you. And that Knight of Cups here, they're coming in, <clears throat> excuse me, with that, that true blue love offer. Like to really come in and, and like tell you that they love you, they want to be with you, they want to get married, they want to they offer an engagement ring or talk about it or talk about... Um, you know, getting back into a committed relationship if you were in that with them in the past. Um, let me just take a look. This Two of Swords, because this is kind of like this person has gone in. Um, and I just want to show you the mask over this person's face, the eyes and the ears. They don't want to see anything. They don't want to hear anything from anyone. The decision that they're making is coming from within. They've heard enough. They've seen enough. They understand. <clears throat> they've weighed all of their options. They've, they've seen. They've asked advice. They've talked to people. Other people have given them advice. And now they've gone in and they're blocking out everything and everyone. And they're like summing up the total of what they've discovered and what they've learned. And, and this, this decision now is really coming from within them it's you know i don't feel like it's an energy of oh okay well the person they were with doesn't want them so now they're coming back i, I don't feel it's like that i feel like whatever was going on with somebody else or others it, it just wasn't it, it didn't go anywhere it would not go anywhere now if you know that your person is married to another person like they've they've moved on and they're married to that person um i'm kind of getting a sense that that isn't going so well okay and they do have you on their mind at this time heavily so much so that they do want to come in <clears throat> and make that proposal okay let me take a look here at this knight of cups now, I'm also getting some Piscean energy. I think I've said that, and I'm getting it twice. Okay. Coming in with that Queen of Swords. Coming in with truth. They are really being honest here about this offer proposal. This is truth. You're going to actually get... <clears throat> I don't know that this person's a great communicator. They could be. Um, they're more of a... I want to say, well, it's definitely Mercury. So I do feel in a lot of ways this Queen of Swords can represent your energy also. Um, thinking about you, making the offer to you. Because the Queen of Swords can represent Virgo sometimes with the Mercury energy where Queen of Swords is very analytical and she's uh, self-sufficient and very truthful, which you know is a Virgo trait. Um and I feel like there's a similarity between the two of you. It's very strange. It's like there's a similarity, but not exactly the same. There's something about <clears throat> the two of you that um, you, you kind of jived well in your communication. Not so much your love communication. I don't think there was a lot of love talk. There might have been a lot of surface or current events or conversations like that that you guys are really good at you know communicating with one another about but this person so they are coming through it's like um <laughs> this love offer is like very logical it's like a logical love offer you know like they're gonna tell you um why they want to do this they've thought about it here are all the ways that this can work the logistics um you know <laughs> It's, it's, it's not coming in with, you know, a bleeding heart. It's, it's not that kind of energy. It's like I've thought about things and I've sorted things out in my head. And logically, I think we can make this work and, you know, um, we can figure out all the details. But I really love you and I want to be with you. And I, I'm screwed up, but I made a huge mistake 
and I want to show you and I, and I want us to be in commitment or partnership and you know even have uh, here's a ring you know as a token of my love you know so it kind of feels like that's the energy coming in with this person okay yeah look like I said this person has just completely blocked out other people and and not even those that were giving them the advice or saying things to them but everybody they they've just they've blocked out a person um that they maybe they were connecting with or that person blocked them and that gave them a chance to like i feel like there's a lot of um hiding away but this person is so stuck and obsessed on um this decision that they're making it's like all they can think about it's almost as if this is something I feel like this person has to do and if they're just obsessed with how they're going to do it and what they're going to say to you about how to do this together okay so they're coming in with a lot of ideas and stuff but like i said i'm not i'm, I'm not seeing like full-blown it's not a romantic get down on the knee <laughs> it's more like <laughs> here's my bloody stump leg <laughs> and let me show you how I hopped on over here and let me show you how I figured this out you know <laughs> let me show you my boot you know let me show you my shoe like it's, it's like very logical like you know coming in with like it's all practical you know of how this is going to happen and how all this how I think we can do this and you know all that stuff so I mean I feel like you could appreciate that in a lot of ways Virgo because you're pretty logical and practical yourself um, who is this King of Swords? I just need to know this King of Swords. Oh, okay. You're the King of Cups. So it's it's someone who's got water or air in their chart somewhere. It could be um, their sun sign could be air and then they have water. Honestly, I feel like... Um, the way, well, the way I'm looking at this card now, honestly, they're telling me that their sun sign could be air and then their rising sign water. And if you don't know it, don't worry about it. Or their sun sign could be water and their rising sign air. But either way, it's two, right? And it could be this two decisions here. Like I was saying, you could have two choices, whether to accept the, the, the offer for commitment or not. You could also have um, two people in your periphery right now who are you you will be very attached or detached from so a water sign cancer scorpio pisces and um an air sign libra gemini aquarius now they could be current or they could be showing up in april either way what separates you from them virgo is the seven of cups where you're in think you're in your think tank you're in your mode here like i said you're healing and you ha you haven't even been thinking about making any grand gestures or moves you know in the sense like when it comes to love i feel like if you've got two people showing up here um there's going to be a lot of i don't know who to choose that's going to be playing out um, and it could just be, do I, do I let the past person return because they're coming in with that bloody stump? Or do I try somebody new and try to go that way because the past person hurt you? There's a lot of hurt. Let me take a look at you here. Queen of Pentacles. Now remember the, it's, it's male or female energy. So let's see. For the most part, I feel like you are sitting in the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you have the sun. So some of you might be on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Um, you're definitely trying to stay very positive right now in your life. And you're definitely waiting for warmer weather. That's for sure. Or you're waiting for the warmer weather to, to cool. So you can go into, you know, the fall. Let me see. Or you're in the fall oh look now we've got the king of pentacles so that's twice okay you could be um out in the open or out in public right now with another earth sign as well that could be happening as well um hmm. 
It's interesting because there's three queens and there's three kings. So whenever we have a lot of court cards like that, it's kind of hard to sort out who's who or what's what. But I will say there's two people showing up in your reading here. Okay. As usual. Oh my God. You got the Knight of Cups again. Virgo, it looks like you've got quite a few offers. It feels like you've got someone from the past who's coming in to make the love offer. You've got someone new that could be showing up in April. And you also could be communicating with someone presently or going into April who's also interested in you. There's a lot of love happening in April, you know? I feel like April is... April's always that month where people start, you know, really connecting. It's not cuffing season, but it's just, I don't know, something, everybody's getting ready for the season to change. That's why, Virgo, you've got two of pentacles. You've got where you're weighing your options. That's what, this is what's going on with you here. This is 100% weighing many options, actually. Weighing a few. So you have suitors <clears throat> and some, you know, there, there could be a, the, the, some of these suitors could just be friends. Um, but it seems like everybody wants a piece of you. Everybody wants to want your heart. Everybody wants you like wants to be with you. I don't know what you're doing at this time, Virgo, but you're going to have some choices to make here. You you have quite a few options. You're going to have quite a few options. You might be like, I don't have any options right now. Well, it's still March. This is for April. Just, you know, I would save this video in your little playlist there or your liked videos and come back and listen to this because I'm telling you, you're going to have pick a litter here you know, as you're healing and getting away from the past, you know, it just feels like you're going out on your own. You might have somebody that you're talking to at this time. It's just a friend that's giving you a lot of love and support um, or taking you out on dates, you know, like romantic dates um, or just, you know, spending time with you or wanting to spend time with you, with you, which is really great. But you're also in a position here where you want someone to come in and make a true blue love offer, but I don't feel like you expected it to be your past. And it doesn't mean you have to take it, of course, but I don't feel like you expect, you really could expect this because for you, this whoever you were connecting with before maybe they told you it's not going to happen again we're done and moving on the relationship's over and then <laughs> here they are back with this engagement ring or this like you know i want to be with you i made a mistake you know i screwed up <clears throat> it's really crazy it's some crazy craziness um Let's see what your romance angels messages are. Actually, I want to look and see what their Chinese sign is here for you. What is this person's Chinese sign? So there's a bunch of people. We're going to look at yours. We're going to look at your Chinese sign. Just to quantify. Because there's too many people here. All right, let's see. All right, so we have a goat. Okay. Now, if that if if I don't call your sign, your Chinese sign, and your person sign shows up, I mean, it's still gonna be your reading. Like whoever you you identify it the way you want to identify. It. Like I said, it's tough when we have a lot of <clears throat> court cards showing up. Okay, we have Year of the Pig. <clears throat> year of the ox we have year of the goat again which means there could be two people who are of the same chinese sign okay we have year of the dragon as usual year of the horse and let me know if this resonates for you okay we have year of the monkey okay we have year of the rabbit and another rabbit so that's twice 
two rabbits. We have Year of the Snake. We have Year of the Rooster. And the dragon is showing again. And we have Year of the Dog. Okay. All right. Now, let's do your Romance Angels. If that helps quantify or qualify for you who that might be, that's great. <clears throat> could be both of you. could be just you. All right. Let's take a look here. What do the Romance Angels have to say for Virgo? We have deception and engagement. Oh, shit. <laughs> Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. And your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't feel like somebody's coming in here and blowing smoke. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. But this deception card, you know, I feel like this is you. I feel like you're putting on a mask um, because... Of the seven of cups here seven of cups is an energy of like kind of living in fantasy land like up in the clouds you're not really grounded you are grounded but when it comes to trying to make this decision in April I feel like you're really not gonna tell anybody or say anything I feel like you might just kind of you know if the past person's coming back in there might not have been closure. There might still be things that you want to say to this person or that need to be said. And you might just not say anything and act like everything's okay. Because I just kind of feel like, you know, it's this is just an overwhelming kind of thing for you. And with new people, you know, that you could be talking to or have coming into your life, you may not reveal <clears throat> that... You know, you still have feelings for your ex, or you may not reveal that you're holding back a little bit because maybe they come in, the ex comes in and wants to hook up. You may, you may not be saying anything to anybody. Um, you're still healing. You don't really want to tell anybody that you, you know, you want to be on your own because your heart's broken. Like you, it's not like it's shameful. It's just. You just are trying to keep your privacy, I think, in some way. But like I said, here, here's engagement now twice. Somebody is coming in, whoever your person is, <clears throat> definitely a past person, but also there's new people. You know, somebody, uh, you could have some, a couple of people saying, wow, I would just want to marry you. Like you are, um, like you're my, you're someone I could, I think I said this in the reading yesterday that some of you might have missed where there's an energy of like, oh, I, I could get around Virgo for the rest of my life. There's just something about you that you just have this uh, uniqueness and this reservedness, but you're such a sensual lover. And I don't know what's going on with you in April, what changes you're making or what you're doing, but you're looking really good. Okay, you have the true love card. This is the romance of a lifetime. So... Mm, a lot of love energy coming in here for you, Virgo. A lot. Um, right. We're going to do some oracle messages, love messages here. See what's going on for you, Virgo. This is really a lovely reading. I mean, you know... Some of you are going through your dry season or you've been going through a dry season and this is just the ebb and flow of life, you know, when dry seasons don't last forever um, and then when it rains, it pours. That's what I feel like is going on here. Okay, mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson. Forgiveness, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Healing, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting, and your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. I can't really tell you exactly who this is, th these energies are, but as far as like this past person, I can tell you because 
that's who I feel like is coming in. Um, I feel like that's the person that you are hoping will have some kind of change in their life. Um, but at the same time, you're not you're not laying there um, waiting. I feel like a lot of you are just getting on with your life, and I, I do kind of feel like that is what's causing someone to realize they made a bad choice, they made a bad decision, or they made a mistake, either choosing somebody else or listening to family or not making the decision on their own or if they were if they made some huge mistakes or if there was like drug or alcohol addiction or something and now they're in recovery there's just a bit of like some waking up to things here again uh, this is not a reading where i'm saying to you oh you should just take them back willy-nilly no i say all the time and i keep repeating it what do i always say if this person isn't coming back on their bloody stumps and they're willing to you know limp for you for the rest of their life and they're gonna show it to you if you want to give them a chance to prove it fine but you should not have to stop your world or stop living your life or you know going on other romantic dates or things like that um, you should not be sitting and dwelling on someone you should be healing and moving on and making your life better and a lot of you have done that and a lot of you just took up the notion hey revenge is a dish best served cold i'm not gonna chase somebody i'm not gonna you know wallow i've had my grief i'm sewing my heart back up again um and i'm just gonna keep moving forward and that's what i'm saying that even when you do that virgo and you actually because a lot of time I feel like it's like well how come I can't meet anybody and then the next conversation is well I can't stop thinking about my ex it's because you're still you're still energetically allowing that to happen right I, I don't feel like a lot of you are sitting there purposely trying to think about them some of you are just going about your day and they keep popping up in your mind and that might happen but you don't have to allow that to continuously happen in other words if some your ex you're having struggle letting go of that you know time is your friend virgo be friends with time but when you can't stop from thinking when the thoughts and the triggers pop up but you can choose to not dwell on them you can make the decision say okay I see that person has popped up in my mind and all right I'm gonna give it like one minute of thought and then that's it I'm gonna move on right and I, that kind of does that's how releasing the energy that's sometimes how people wind up coming back into your life not everybody comes back but people who realize <clears throat> if they've been left out in the cold or there was you know they made a bad decision we go through the nostalgia phase, which is that Six of Cups energy. Nostalgia pops back in. Thinking about the past. All right, let me see here. The Hidden Truth or Oracle. Uh, this I'm going to take a look here at. Um, oh, what's this? Marriage. <laughs> this relationship is moving toward a sacred union. So, yeah, that's definitely coming. Okay, what is this person's messages for you? Okay, my life is not as together as it seems. So this person might have, or might be making it seem like, or have been ma making it seem like everything going on in their life is just fine. You know, they're living their best life. They're with their other person. It's all a front. It's all the deception and the false ma false mask. Um, if they have to put it all over social media, then you know it's intentional. And then, you know, somebody's trying to prove something. If it's like a lot of it, then it's like it's like people who post like 20 selfies a day i'm like i mean what do you what do you need here what's going on <laughs> okay i know that i crossed the line with you okay this is how this person's feeling i wish things could be different sometimes i stay awake thinking about you well i think that's a given one more i know i messed up everything yeah I think it's really sweet I and mean, maybe this is something that you wanted from this person to get clear with themselves but you know some of you are like well you know now you come back after we've been split and now you come back after I've got other options and you're gonna find this happening 
okay? As soon as you start getting yourself out there and taking other dates or, you know, they, this person can feel you slipping away or they are, are will be feeling you slipping away in April, like really strongly in April. All right, let me take a look. What are your messages here? <clears throat> They're feeling a sense of like, wow, Virgo's moving on. Virgo's not doing it anymore. Virgo's not doing me anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's your Six of Cups. Nostalgia. Revisiting old dreams or plans. Embracing the inner child. The return of people or romances from your past. Romanticizing how things used to be. That's what I feel like is going on here. Well, you're going to get some Easter flowers in April, daffodils, or maybe there's daffodils that you're looking at or you have some in your yard that are blooming wherever you are. I also hear the name Daisy. Somebody has a doggy or a puppy named Daisy, maybe a little um, boxer or a cute little puppy named Daisy, or somebody's name is Daisy. It could be a cat. My youngest son told me he'll be 22 in May. He's a Taurus. It's such a Taurus thing. He said when he has kids, he wants a boy and a girl. And he wants to name them Oliver and Daisy. <laughs> I think I've mentioned this before. It just It's the sweetest thing ever. I mean, I don't know. He's a, he's a true blue Taurus. And he just has a, the biggest heart. He's such a sweetheart that he even thinks about things like this. It's so sweet. Um... All right, let me see. What else? <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Does somebody have like a cob cobblestone road somewhere near where they live? Or cobblestone pathway or a walkway? Um, so I'm getting the numbers 610. Okay, six. it's either 610 or 6 and 10 I'm also getting the 14th and the 15th. Could be area code 610. Okay. We have the number 8. We also have 3. Okay. Somebody's got a birthday June 10th or August 6th. Um, let me see here. Somebody's fixing a broken plate, or will be fixing, a, or you just fixed a gluing back a plate or something, some kind of plate. Um, so we have the letter G, and we have the letter K. Um, somebody's taking a seminar, or seeking a mentor. Um, or like going to school at this time. Oh, somebody's go. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> somebody's going before a judge, the honorable, a judge. Okay, and there's also um, maybe writing up a will. Um, or finding a, a beneficiary for a will. Uh, somebody might be seeking a counselor or speaking to a counselor this time. Maybe somebody has blonde hair. Okay. Um, all right, we have 20. The 20th? 20? Um, I just heard two names that gave me J, like J-A-Y, or, or just a J, and then I'm hearing L, or Ellen, or like an L, L sound, or Ellen. Um, I'm also seeing 
somebody you're somebody's paying just paid off a debt or is paying off a debt okay somebody's wearing like a blue dress shirt and there's like cleaning maybe a cleaning a kitchen counter you might be cleaning a kitchen counter. Um, there's like crumbs all over or cleaning up after a child, something along those lines. Or cleaning up after a dinner party. I'm also seeing like, um, I'm seeing like um, someone's playing a musical instrument while they're cleaning or they're listening with their headphones on to music while cleaning. Alright, somebody's putting candles in the windows, or you have candles in your windows, electric candles. Somebody's got a big bush of weeds somewhere, like a plant. Somewhere like I don't know, in their yard. <laughs> okay. And somebody's taking a trip to England very soon, or is planning to, or lives in England, or is leaving from England and going somewhere. Okay, and then I'm also seeing um, standing in line in a pharmacy, or someone's in line at a pharmacy, or is going to be going on... Um, there's I don't know what it is there's I don't know what it's for but there's like a line and it's one of those mazes that you have to walk through and they have a, like the um, like a makeshift fence that you stay in, stay in the lines to walk through <laughs> oh the heck that is all right let's get your charms actually I'm gonna drop some of my Hold on a sec. I want to give you some signs also. Some birth dates. I think I'm... Oh, goodness. Oh, that's so long gone. I think I'm just going to use these and try these for now before I have the charms going. Okay. So, picking up a Sagittarius. I'm also picking up... Wow, interesting. A Taurus. I'm also picking up April 9th, April 5th. Somebody was born in 59 or 65. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, we have a Scorpio. We have somebody's birthday is on the 8th, the 9th, the 4th, and a Capricorn. Okay, and let's just do one more. When is this, here's what I'm asking. When is this person coming in with this engagement ring? <laughs> All right, it's between, um, okay. It's between April 13th and 15th. That's when I feel like the energy is going to be playing out. I'm also picking up a Cancer, an Aries. I think I said that already, didn't I? Um, somebody is 53, and somebody is 31. All right, one more, and then I think we're going to end your reading off there. I'm going to give the, the charms a break for a little while, if you don't mind. Okay, let's see. Okay. Pisces and Virgo showing up here. We have the fourth, we have the first, and we have the tenth. Okay, January tenth. Um, okay. Oh wait, they just said somebody's forty-one. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there. I hope you enjoyed the reading. So real quick, you guys. Um, you know, I was doing the live stream and then I was letting that run after. Um, the way I did it was more like a beta test. 
So what I'm going to do is these videos that I'm doing here, I'm just going to upload these every day as per usual, the way I was doing it before. And then every evening, 7 p.m. Eastern, which would be <clears throat> um, 6 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Mountain, and 4 p.m. Um, Pacific, I'm going to do a podcast love I call it a love cast where I will be hosting it and I will start it and then I'm going to do uh, topics where we're going to talk about topics the live chat will be open and then after the topic after the podcast the love cast I'm just gonna let I'm gonna let the live stream just run so that you guys can have conversation the way I was doing it before and you can just communicate with each other and I'll let that run until the next podcast Okay, so I'm going to try to do that. I will also be doing them on Saturdays at noon. So for some of you, it'll be like eight in the morning. If like you're on the Pacific Coast, and I know you, you might not want to pop in, but that's okay because there'll be other times for you to join in. So we're going to, that's going to be a beta. We're going to try and see how it goes, but I am going to leave those live streams running for you. If the live stream shuts off, like it just closes out, um, I'll try to get it back on because we've been having some electrical and um, issues lately or some internet issues so I here I am I'm like oh my gosh cyber attack I don't know what's going on and it happened earlier today and like all my stuff just shut right off so um, I'm gonna start that back up for um, Monday okay so I'm just gonna get through the weekend and organize all my topics and the things I want to talk about and then I'm gonna make a post asking you guys to contribute any topics or things that you would like um, me to discuss and things that we can just bring up these aren't gonna be tarot readings they're just gonna be conversation topics and then the live stream will continue for you guys to you know be bop around in and chit chat with each other all right so that's going to be your reading and i will see you tomorrow night with this another follow-up reading for you i hope all is well and i will see you guys mon well, sunday and then monday for the live stream all right love you see you guys later bye <laughs>